Scientists have found evidence that the air pollution in China could lead to premature and underweight babies. Let's take a closer look at the study. During the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the government started an anti-smog drive to cut some of the city's pollution. New research shows that babies were born on average 23 grams heavier during the Olympics than those born in the same period in the years before and after. A scientist looked at the birth weight of 83,000 babies who were in their mother's wombs during the Games. They believe the increase in weight is due to mothers breathing in lower levels of chemicals such as acidic oxide and sulfur dioxide. People dubbed the clearer skies during the Olympics Beijing Blue. And evidence suggests that the lower intake of pollutants resulted in healthier and chubbier babies. Dr. David Rich is an associate professor at the Department of Public Health Sciences at the University of Rochester in the state of New York. He's the lead author of this study. Welcome to the program. Have we summed up accurately uh, the results of your study that air pollution can lead to babies with lower birth weights? Yes, you have. Thank you. Okay. And uh, tell us a bit more about why you decided to study baby birth weights during the Beijing Olympics. Well, we had done some previous work looking, uh, another study that we did in Beijing, um, looking at whether or not um, people that live in Beijing, if we measured various uh, biomarkers in their blood, in their urine, uh, if we measured blood pressure, and if we looked to see maybe when the air pollution levels were lower during the games, did we in fact see improvements in those markers? And so we saw that there was this health benefit, presumed health benefit in even these young folks. Um, and we had done some previous work uh, here in the States looking, in, looking at air pollution levels and looking at them during pregnancy to see if perhaps they may be associated with increased risks of uh, birth weight, having being a low birth weight, uh, preterm delivery. And so we kind of wanted to try to do that again uh, in the Beijing Olympics. And what was really nice about the Beijing Olympics is that we got to see perhaps uh, going against the way we normally do these studies, here we're going to see if, if decreases in pollution cause an increase in birth weight. So hopefully providing some more convincing evidence that, something, uh, that this is actually a real phenomenon. Did your study show if air pollution affects other aspects of infant health? Uh, well, we're still in the middle of those analyses. Hopefully we'll have some more answers for you uh, uh, on those, uh, on those as aspects coming soon. Are the effects of air pollution on babies in the womb, uh, uh, from what you've found out so far, similar to if mothers smoke while they're pregnant? Well, I don't know. Um, you know, certainly I think smoking is going to be much more of an impact on a baby, uh, especially if the mother is smoking. Um, you know, but these aren't direct comparisons. We did not do those types of analysis in this study. But clearly, the, um, both are public health issues. Both are big public health issues. Um, that uh, both deserve some attention uh, to try to prevent. So certainly we want to try to, you know, reduce the amount of, uh, of maternal smoking and maybe even reduce secondhand smoke exposure of moms while they're pregnant. Um, and we certainly want to protect moms uh, from outdoor pollution as well. So both, both certainly are important. Dr. David Rich, uh, thanks very much for joining us.